Hey fishers, what's happening? Uh, I think after yesterday's video, I pretty much said that I'm sure you guys will check in with us sometime during the course of the week when we decide to go fishing because as you guys know, that is quite a regular occurrence with us. Little did I know that we'd come fishing the next day after getting back from Kebe, but the weather was so good that myself and Dean pretty much decided that we couldn't uh, miss the opportunity to at least try for something. But before I start, I, you know, I got back home and obviously you want to spend time with your family and the people that you love and for me and my girlfriend. And yeah, it's... It's nice having a supportive family when it comes to such a selfish sport because I do believe that fishing is quite a selfish sport. That's my personal feeling on it. Just because the hours that you have to put in and the amount of time that you do spend away from home. But yeah, just if you are in a situation like me where you've got a partner or someone that cares about you or a family, just be thankful that they allow you to go fishing when you, you do and the amount of time that you are able to spend on the rocks or in the surf doing what you love. So just show them some love. So this is some appreciation from me to the people that love me and just saying thanks for allowing me to go fishing as often as I can. But that's enough for me. Let's give it over to Dean and uh, he can tell you what's happening. I was a fisher and fisher ruse, so nothing is get better than getting back from the Transcar and packing all your gear, washing 99% of it, except my wetsuit uh, socks I've got on, they're still full of sand, but that's all right, we'll live, and deciding let's get everything dirty again. But that's the way we do it. So we decided uh, we're gonna shoot just up the road to us, Veranda Rocks, Guys, we've seen it all before. The weather's beautiful, so we're gonna get a line in the water. We've got some leftover bait that we need to get through, or well, a lot of leftover bait that we actually need to get through. So let's go see what's happening that side, guys. Uh, to the other guys that join us at Kebe, thanks very much. Uh, sorry you couldn't join us on this one. But let's put a bait in the water and see if we can get you guys some more footage. Thanks to everyone for subscribing this far. We are growing crazy quick. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting. We're enjoying all the positive feedback from everyone. And uh, we're on our way to a thousand. We'll get there very, very soon. Awesome guys, we'll check in with you later. Hopefully we can get onto uh, Fish or 13 for you. Cheers. That's a big one, boy. Jeez. No ways. How's it, guys? Uh, first throw. A bus of a zebra bridge. Uh, one of the biggest ones I've seen in my life. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Anyway, guys, let's pop it back. Happy days. Guys, at fish shows, so we changed over to some uh, pink prawn. Water is dirty, but we managed a young little uh, bluefish, bronze bream. It's definitely a small boy. Just keeping them alive in the pool here. Yeah? Uh, you don't want to pop your bluefish or bronze bream back straight away. They do spook the, uh, the shoal. So we'll fill this pool up or get a couple more in the pool, hopefully. And then we'll release them all later. Till then, cheers. And Dean's on to another bluefish, I suspect. He's fishing with pink prawn today. We went all the way to the trans guy, caught no bluefish. Come to Boulder Bay, smashing the bluefish today. He says this one seems to be a big one. I see us giving him horns. Giving him horns here towards the end. I'm sure he'll come through soon. There it is. Yeah, it's quite a little bus of a blue here, chaps.
Hands up for shows. Second prawn out. But a bit of better size blue. Not too bad. Nice one. Okay, let's pop them back in the pool here. Save them up. Probably going to keep one for supper. We'll choose the best one out of the lot. Cheers. There we go, guys. Three for three. Not a big fish at all, but uh, numbers count. There we go guys, it went quiet for a while but uh, it seems to go back on the bite again. Another small one, popping back in the pool yeah. Evening fishers and fisheroos, so that draws to the end of a quick afternoon session. On the scratching side, we did okay, a couple of bluefish and one monster zebra. Uh, did get a little cape stump though, so I decided let me pump him out uh, for a little bit of a shark bait. I don't think he was in the water 30 seconds and uh, he got smoked. Changed up to some uh, shark baits, four ons, four losses, guys, that's where it goes. You're probably a bit undergunned with the tackle we had. We had some nice runs with the sharks. One snapped up, one pulled loose, and the others just didn't materialize. Anyway, let's head back home, wash our stuff off, and it's back to work tomorrow for me. So it's an early one. Till then, cheers. Cheers.